Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Spatial. I am Katie Scheuer and I am here to increase your spatial impact. Now today we are digging into the GIS Analyst. Now this is probably the one title with so many different job descriptions. <laughs> it is kind of amazing. So what does this one position all encompass? What can you expect from this position? How does it align with company goals? All of those good things we're going to be digging in today, so let's go. So if you guys missed it, I did do a GIS technicians video. Um, it looks like this, and you guys can check it out in the description below. Um, make sure you go and check that one out if you haven't already. There's some really good things about getting started in GIS. So the GIS analyst really falls into stage three and four of your GIS development. And if you don't know what these stages are, make sure you check out this video about the different stages of GIS and what they all can do for your company and how they all develop on top of each other. So stage three is integration and stage four is analysis. And a GIS analyst works in both of these different areas. So you, as an analyst, you're going to be working with different workflows and how that data moves throughout the company and getting that integration built in. So you're bringing in different databases such as a customer information system, an accounting system, um, maybe just like your business information system, whatever other data repositories that you have within the company. And then you're also going to be integrating that in with GIS. With these different integrations, you need to have a business need behind all of this. Along with all of your analysis, you really need to have a business need behind all of your analysis. So this is a very business domain driven position and is going to be different depending on what industry you are in. So as far as the company standpoint, they're hiring a GIS analyst because they want somebody that's going to come in and make use of the geo databases that they have, the GIS system that they've been integrating, and they want to make use of all the data that they've been collecting. And they're trying to use that information to create really good business decisions and use that data, analyze it, and be able to make smart decisions that are data-driven and that will make their business grow and develop and become a better business for everybody. So to meet these business goals, your main focus is going to be a knowing what your business does. So you need to have a good understanding of what the industry you're in and what information they need, what kind of problems are they gonna be coming up with, and how to supplement the information that they've been collecting and curating for hopefully many years. Um, you'll want to know how to get other things from other parts of the industry, other resources, other data streams, um, whatever you can find to meet those business decisions. Then you also are going to have to have a fair amount of knowledge of statistics, math, um, databases in themselves, how they work, how you can manipulate the data. Um, as a GIS analyst, you want to think spatially and really understand how can you stack data on top of each other to use that spatial portion of it in your analysis. So as you can guess it, as an analyst, you are going to be huge into problem solving. If you do not like to solve problems, if you don't want to dig into things, if you don't want to research, this is probably not the best position for you because this is all about solving problems. It's all about trying to discover how can we use this information to make the business better. So what other qualifications besides knowing all of these things do you need? You want to make sure that you have at least probably a bachelor's degree, if not a master's degree. If you don't have the degrees, that potentially is okay. Make sure you check out the job descriptions to see if you need a degree. And if you really don't know what, if you need a degree or not, I suggest you take out this video where I go really in depth on how to determine if you do or do not need a degree for the position that you're looking for. Also, you want to have a good set of knowledge for GIS. You want to know how it works, you want to know the spatial relationships, you want to know how spatial analysis works, and how that improves beyond just your basic data analyst. So what can you expect to learn in this position? Um, every position, I think, besides salary, which we will get to, um, you have a portion of your compensation that is education. It's learning. It's learning the industry or it's learning your industry and your specialty more. As an analyst, you are going to learn a ton about the industry that you are in because you cannot solve their problems if you don't understand what problems they have 
Also, you need to be able to discover issues and problems that they maybe have in their workflow or problems that they maybe have with developing or how they can use chunks of money if they get grants or just an extra influx of you know, new sales, whatever it is. You need to know the industry enough that you can help them make decisions. So you're going to learn a lot about your industry. You're also going to learn a lot about telling stories with data influencing people with data and being able to kind of tell your truth and show the facts for it. So you have to be good at data storytelling. You're going to learn more about data leadership and what it means to be a leader. You also are gonna have good presentation skills and communication skills if you want to advance into your GI analyst role and potentially into a management role. So let's get to what you guys probably clicked on this video for is the salaries. <laughs> So the salary for a GIS analyst, um, I, it varies all over the place. This is one of the like most encompassing position descriptions or position titles that you can have. So it really kind of is all over the board, but I did pull um, an average from Glassdoor. The average is 60,000 and the range goes from 42 to 85,000 a year. And again, this is a US average, so make sure that you're checking out where you live to see if this is the same. Um, Glassdoor is just one group that pulls information on these things. Uh, there's lots of different websites that you can use to kind of get an idea of what's going on in your area. If anything that I've covered in this video is totally different in your country, please leave comments down below because I know that you can really help somebody else that might be living in the same area that you are by changing you know what's different and what's the same with that salary also remember this is only a portion of your compensation make sure that you are asking good questions in your interview to meet your goals and to, to meet your values that you want in your career as a gis analyst you want to make sure that you are getting enjoyment and fulfillment out of your job this can be a very grueling job that can be thankless at times and it can really get at you if you're not invested in it and you're not excited by it and you're not really feeling like you belong. Some other job titles that you might want to look for in spatial are actually location intelligence analyst or anything that's like location intelligence or spatial analyst or geospatial analyst, all those different titles. You're going to be dealing with spatial data, but it might just be in a slightly different way or in a different industry, so it's named a little bit differently. Some other things are business intelligence analysts, um, a BI analyst. They are going to have a very similar job, but maybe focus more on business needs and business data versus spatial data. And then also just a straight up data analyst. Um, they, there's tons of positions out there. If you just Google data analyst and you could be dealing with all sorts of different kinds of data and really kind of expand into different areas depending on what you would like to do. So as you can tell, a GIS analyst encompasses tons of different things and it depends on your industry to really understand what you're going to be getting into. But I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a like and subscribe because next week we are diving into more GIS positions as far as developers and specialists. So I will see you soon, bye.